Well, guys, it's the moment you've been waiting for. I think. I'm not sure, but I think. Uh, look at all that. Vinylism. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes. And this record cabinet that I was given to is completely full up inside of there. Now, what a lot of these records are, for example, like, like ragtime and jazz and all that stuff, but he did take the time to set down here and make out a book for each box. Like box one. I don't remember where box... Oh, I know where box one was this one right here. I do remember seeing that. He's got a list for what all is in box one. Yeah, it looks to me like there's 75 records in box one. Here's box two. Some of he's taken out, some of he's gotten rid of. I don't know why these are X'd out. Box three. Three continued. Box four. Five. <laughs> Six. Box sets. Box seven. Um, oh my. Just the running total between all the boxes is 429 albums. And here's another box seven. There's another 50. So there's right around 500. And I found a few other things too stuck in here. I'm not sure what this is. At one point I was doing some work for Grandpa transferring LPs over to CDs. And I did find one of my CDs back. I wanted back. Uh, this looks like a tape laid out on paper. There's some more tapes he had laid out. He was just running through notes. I'm not sure what that is. Here's a It was a Statler Brothers identifier. Another CD that's been converted to a ta or tape to a CD, a record to a tape. And the one I was looking for, I had made him a while back, was this Admiral's Third Channel. And uh, if this ain't all screwed up, I think I know who I'm going to send this to off to for doing a favor for me. Some of these albums, they're mint. Most of them's in pretty good shape. Other ones look like they were probably just a quarter or fifty cent a piece album. And they're they're pretty rough. Up in here and look. Christmas with Arthur Arthur Godfrey. <laughs> These are all on 78s. And I did find another uh, box with some 78s in them. Ah, they're right there. Miscellaneous stuff I'd never seen before. And here's box sets. Two, two of them there. Here's three of them back here. There's one up there. Here's one right here. Mormon Tabernacle Choir. Nat King Cole, a lot of Nat King Cole in here. Ray Conniff, I've seen I don't know how many Ray, different Ray Conniff albums. Conniff. Guy Lombardo. The Kingston Trio, Grandpa liked a lot of gospel music. Ames Brothers, Roger Whitaker. Bobby Vinton. <laughs> Tennessee Ernie Ford. Tom Jones, green grass, grass at home. Look how young Tom Jones was. <laughs> Roy Clark, Pearly Shelby, Billy Vaughn. Um, not sure what this was. Somerset University. Some of these records were local stuff. Here's a Bee Gees, early Bee Gees. 
How Can You Mend the Broken Heart? That's a pretty decent song by them. A couple more box sets back here of different stuff. I'm not sure what these are. The Groove with the Kings of Swing. Franklin Met Record Society, greatest recordings of the 50s. Looks to be in pretty good shape. Looks to be like it was hardly played. Hmm. Honky Tonk, Del Wood. Guess who? Mills Brothers, Tony Orlando, and Don. And I did hit, yeah, here they are. A whole pocket of carpenters. Close to you, I got that album. Carpenters Horizon. These are in here backwards. George Hamilton the fourth. Seagulls. <laughs> Loretta and Conway. Alfred Hitchcock presents ghost stories for young people. His hand and mine, Elvis. So Elvis Christmas. The Spencer family. Spencer family, B.J. Thomas, Oak Ridge Boys, Greatest Moments in Radio, Kingsman Charts Breakers, Blackwater Quartet, and this is just a a hint of what all is in here. More Guy Lombardo, Willie Nelson, and Ray Price. Willie Nelson's something, isn't he? Boy, after all these years of doing what he's done, he's still around and still performing. Chet Atkins. Damn it. Teensville. Country pop favorites. Merle Haggard. Charlie Pride. Charlie Pride. Marty Robbins, Charlie Walker, Bill Anderson, Charlie McCoy, Ernest Tubb, all kinds of goodies in there. So as I go through these, I'll pick out some good ones, and whatever I don't want will probably be resold or uh, taken there's a care center up north of me that takes a lot of this old stuff in and uh, they take good care of their product and they don't sell it back at a higher than hell price I think a lot of it probably <laughs> if, if truth be known that's probably where some of these records even come from because grandma even said she didn't realize there was this many records in the house and this is not including what I'd showed you in the previous video of the what four or five boxes of 45s and the 78s and all that so this is just like the whole deal right here she didn't realize there was that many and probably thought that when grandpa bought these he kept kept them hid till grandma was busy doing something else and he'd sneak them in the house so he is kind of a little dog like that so for now guys that's it hope you enjoyed this look at a massive amount of vinyl hauled home courtesy chevrolet more to come later